Dante writes, death is prompting conversation about traffic stops in general. And tonight, some members of the Minneapolis Police Conduct Oversight Commission are discussing certain kinds of stops and searches. Fox and Sarah Danik has more on the racial disparities the city is seeing. Traffic stops and pretext stops have been on my mind for a long time. Um, there was a report out last summer, actually, about how disproportionate uh, traffic stops are in the city of Minneapolis. Abigail Sarah says that's why certain traffic stops, the kind that aren't putting the public in extreme danger, like a light out over a license plate or something hanging from a rear view mirror, need to be discussed. These traffic stops are so disproportional and they're so disproportionately dangerous to people of color. I can't look away. I mean, we just have to talk about it. It's one of two topics on the agenda tonight of the Minneapolis Police Conduct Oversight Commission, the subcommittee meeting virtually. Hennepin County Public Defender Jay Wong presenting his research from last summer, showing black and East African residents are getting pulled over at a much higher rate than white residents in Minneapolis for moving and equipment violations. To some degree, it is um, a level of harassment that individuals feel throughout um, throughout the city. The numbers pulled from the city's public dashboard show just over 56 percent of drivers pulled over last year were black or East African, compared to just over 26 percent of white drivers. The disparity continued when it came to the person or vehicle being searched after the stop. We're talking 10 to 20 times more often that black and East African drivers are getting searched after equipment violations than our white drivers. Commissioner Sarah tells us the hope is that the city might instead limit the authority of officers to pull over people for these secondary offenses and issue a warning letter instead. Until there's a fix, I don't think we can allow these kind of stops. We just can't allow people of color to be targeted in this way. Sarah Danik joining us now live in Minneapolis. And so, Sarah, we know the public safety bill just moved out of the House at the state level. Does this address that kind of traffic stop? Yeah, Kelsey, actually, there is a traffic stop bill that is part of that bigger public safety bill, that omnibus bill you mentioned that just passed out of the House. Commissioner Sarah actually telling me this is what she modeled her idea after in the first place. She said even if this doesn't pass at the state level, then Minneapolis would have a traffic stop rule that they could operate by. This now moves on to the full commission for further discussion. We are live tonight in Minneapolis. Sarah Danik, Fox 9.